All right, thank you, Freddie. We look forward to hearing more now with Monday's solar eclipse right around the corner. Doctors are warning people not to stare at the eclipse without eye protection. Our Blake Brown joins us live in the newsroom with tips you cannot afford to miss. Blake. That's right, Frank. Many people will be tempted to look at the total eclipse unprotected, thinking the sun is fully blocked and safe to look at. But experts say the danger of permanent eye damage still exists. Dr. Vincent Vaughn says there is one rule you must remember when the total eclipse happens Monday. Never stare directly into the sun. The light is so intense and so strong that what happens is you get a thermal burn, a heat burn. And that actually happens because the eye focuses the sunlight directly onto the retina on a very small spot. And it will burn and destroy the vital nerve cell called photoreceptors. Vaughn says there's no universal treatment for long-term eye damage. He says there are several things people can do to protect themselves, including special lenses or eyeglass filters. The problem nowadays is there's so many ways to get these filters, almost like sunglasses, that you have to make sure that they are um, meeting the international standard. Vaughn says you should be aware of fake lenses. He recommends a particular lens that meets international safety standards. They say ISO 12312-2. It's safe to remove the eye protection and look straight at the eclipse, but the second that the moon shifts and you see the arc of the sun coming around the moon, you've got to get those goggles back on or safety protection back on. Dr. Vaughn also recommends keeping an eye on your children during the eclipse. Because children don't know better, and so children have to be supervised at all times if you're going to be watching the eclipse with them. If you have special viewers, solar or eclipse viewers for them, make sure they have them on and they don't slip them off and look around them like I'm doing now. The eclipse is set to take place in the valley around 1.30 p.m. on Monday.